Have you ever wondered where humanity truly began? It's a question that has intrigued us for centuries. Some say our roots are in the caves of Europe, others point to Asia. But what if I told you that the answer lies in Africa? Africa is often referred to as the cradle of humanity, and for good reason. The earliest evidence of Homo sapiens, our species, has been traced back to this continent. But Africa's genetic legacy doesn't stop there. Today, we have new revelations that are reshaping our understanding of African genetics. These findings are not just about tracing where we came from, they're about understanding who we are today and how we came to be in such a vast, interconnected world. Imagine this, thousands of years ago, early humans roamed Africa. They weren't isolated tribes, they were part of a vast, complex network that spanned this enormous continent. Their genetics were constantly shifting, mixing, and evolving. But here's the twist, those ancient genetic foundations are not only responsible for the people of Africa today, they've played a monumental role in shaping the world beyond. From ancient migrations to modern health disparities, Africa's genetic history has profound implications for all of us. Stick around as we dive deep into the surprising and eye-opening origins of African genetics and how they continue to influence us today. Africa, our ancestral home. This is where the story of humanity begins. For over 200,000 years, Homo sapiens have walked the earth, and it's in Africa where our earliest ancestors made their mark. The out-of-Africa theory, which has been widely accepted by scientists, suggests that Homo sapiens evolved in Africa and then spread out across the globe. This theory is based on fossil evidence, archaeological discoveries, and, most crucially, genetic research. Today, we know that everyone on the planet shares a common ancestor from Africa. It's mind-blowing to think that no matter where we're from or what we look like, we're all part of the same human family that began in Africa. But what does that really mean for us today? Well, Africa's role as the birthplace of humanity isn't just a historical fact. It's deeply embedded in our genetic makeup. The genetic diversity within Africa is unlike anything we see on any other continent. In fact, African populations have the highest level of genetic variation in the world, which means that studying African genetics holds the key to understanding the deep history of our species. Think about this, when humans first emerged from Africa and began migrating across the globe, they carried with them the genetic signatures of their African ancestors. And as they spread out, these early human groups developed distinct genetic traits based on their environments and interactions with other species. But no matter how far humans traveled, Africa remained the source, the origin point of our genetic diversity. Africa is, without a doubt, the cradle of humanity in every sense of the word. Now, let's talk about one of the most remarkable aspects of Africa, its genetic diversity. Imagine a continent with thousands of distinct ethnic groups, languages, and cultures. Each group carries its own unique genetic signature, shaped by millennia of evolution. This diversity is not just a product of Africa's size or population, it's a reflection of the deep and varied human history that has unfolded on this continent. Africa's genetic diversity is unparalleled. In fact, studies have shown that the genetic variation within Africa is greater than the variation found in all the other continents combined. Think about it. The diversity of genes in a single African population can be more different from another African group than from some populations across the globe. Why is this so important? Because it means that Africa holds the genetic keys to understanding human evolution in its most pure and unaltered form. Genetic diversity is like a treasure map, and Africa is the treasure chest. By studying African genes, scientists are not just piecing together the past, they're unlocking the future. These variations hold the answers to why certain populations are more susceptible to certain diseases or why some can thrive in extreme environments. Africa's genetic diversity is a living testament to human adaptability, survival, and growth. And it's through this diversity that scientists can trace the pathways of early human migration, uncover ancient lineages, and get a clearer picture of the evolution of our species. While we tend to focus on genetic similarities between people from different continents, it's the diversity within Africa that truly tells the story of human resilience and evolution. 
Without Africa's genetic complexity, we wouldn't fully understand the intricacies of human history or the ways in which we're all connected. Let's dive into one of the most groundbreaking aspects of modern genetics, ancient DNA. Ancient DNA studies have completely reshaped how we view human evolution, and it's opening new doors to understanding the history of African genetics. For years, the study of ancient genomes was limited to fossilized bones and teeth, but now, thanks to advances in DNA sequencing, scientists can extract genetic information from much older remains, sometimes thousands of years old. In Africa, ancient DNA studies have uncovered some shocking revelations. For example, geneticists have discovered that early Homo sapiens didn't evolve in complete isolation. We now know that early humans in Africa interacted with, and sometimes interbred with, other species like Neanderthals and Denisovans. This wasn't a simple process of one species evolving into another, it was a complex web of interactions that shaped our genetic makeup. One of the most surprising aspects of these discoveries is the discovery of entirely new human lineages. For years, we thought we had a pretty clear understanding of the key branches of human evolution. But with the sequencing of ancient African genomes, scientists have found previously unknown populations, people who lived alongside early Homo sapiens but were distinct from them. These findings challenge our traditional understanding of human evolution and show that the story of our past is far more complicated than we ever imagined. Ancient DNA from Africa is shedding light on the rich and varied history of human existence. It's allowing us to trace the migrations of early human groups, understand their interactions with other species, and get a glimpse into the lives of those who lived long before us. These discoveries are reshaping the entire field of human genetics, and they're helping us to better understand the foundational role Africa plays in the history of humankind. Africa has always been a land on the move, and not just in terms of geography. The migration patterns of African populations have had an enormous impact on the continent's genetic makeup. Early human migrations, both within Africa and outward to other continents, are at the heart of the genetic puzzle we're still piecing together. The first great migration we often hear about is the Bantu expansion, which began around 3,000 years ago. The Bantu-speaking peoples moved from West Africa into Central, Eastern, and Southern Africa, bringing new technologies, farming practices, and genetic influences to the regions they settled. This movement wasn't just about spreading culture, it was also about the spread of genetic material as different African groups interacted and mixed with one another. But the Bantu migrations were far from the only population movements in Africa. From the ancient Egyptians to the Nilotic peoples, Africa has always been a mosaic of migrating groups. These movements weren't just about survival, they were about adaptation, about finding new environments and opportunities. As these groups moved, they carried with them unique genetic traits that would go on to shape the populations they encountered. One of the most remarkable things we're discovering through genetic research is how interconnected Africa's populations were, even in ancient times. By studying the genetic markers that remain in modern populations, scientists can track these ancient migration routes, uncovering the story of human movement across the continent. These migrations didn't just affect local populations, they had ripple effects that spread across the globe. By mapping out these migration routes, we're not just learning about Africa's genetic diversity. We're uncovering a deeper understanding of how humanity spread across the globe and how our interconnected histories and genes are shaped by these ancient journeys. We often think of Africa as the source of humanity, but what's truly fascinating is how Africa's genetic legacy extends far beyond its borders. Over the millennia, humans left Africa, but they didn't just carry their culture and languages with them, they also carried their genes. Today, thanks to advances in genetic research, we're uncovering surprising connections between African genetics and populations around the world. Studies have shown that humans didn't just migrate out of Africa once, they did so in waves, each migration leaving behind genetic markers that can still be traced today. For example, Geneticists have found that many populations outside Africa, particularly in Europe and Asia, carry traces of African ancestry. This includes specific genetic traits that we once thought were limited to Africa. These discoveries are forcing us to rethink the idea of distinct racial or genetic boundaries. 
One of the most powerful examples of this comes from the study of ancient human populations. By analyzing DNA from ancient human remains, scientists have discovered that there were multiple waves of migration out of Africa. Early humans who left Africa spread across the globe, interbreeding with other populations along the way. Over time, this genetic mixing resulted in the diverse human populations we see today, with African ancestry present in all of us. What's even more remarkable is how African genes have influenced health and disease across the world. Traits like sickle cell anemia, which are typically associated with African populations, are also found in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern populations due to ancient African migrations. This is just one example of how African genetic contributions have shaped the health and biology of populations across the globe. These findings remind us that humanity isn't divided by continents or borders. Our genetic story is one of migration, mixing, and shared history. Africa's genetic legacy is woven into the very fabric of humanity, and these surprising connections are helping us to better understand how we're all connected. One of the most fascinating aspects of African genetics is how deeply intertwined it is with the continent's diverse environments. Africa is home to a vast range of climates, from the scorching heat of the Sahara Desert to the lush tropical rainforests of Central Africa. These environmental challenges have shaped the genetics of African populations in unique and remarkable ways. Take, for example, sickle cell anemia. This genetic condition, which primarily affects people of African descent, is actually a survival mechanism against malaria, a disease that has long been prevalent in many parts of Africa. The sickle cell trait causes red blood cells to assume a crescent or sickle shape, which, while problematic under normal circumstances, provides protection against malaria. This is because malaria parasites have a harder time surviving in sickle-shaped cells. People with one copy of the sickle cell gene are more resistant to malaria, making it an advantageous trait in malaria-prone regions. But sickle cell anemia isn't the only example of how African genetics have adapted to the environment. Another fascinating adaptation involves lactose intolerance. In many populations around the world, adults lose the ability to digest milk after childhood. However, certain African groups, particularly those in East Africa, have developed a genetic mutation that allows them to continue drinking milk into adulthood. This adaptation is thought to have evolved in response to the rise of dairy farming, where milk became an important source of nutrition. These genetic adaptations reveal the incredible resilience of African populations. Over thousands of years, humans in Africa have adapted to some of the harshest conditions on Earth. These traits reflect the deep connection between genetics and environment, showing how humanity evolved to survive and thrive in a wide variety of habitats. Studying these genetic adaptations provides valuable insights not only into human evolution, but also into how we might face future challenges. As climate change reshapes the planet and new diseases emerge, we may find that these African genetic traits offer clues to human adaptability and survival. Africa's genetic legacy is a living testament to the incredible ways in which our ancestors responded to their environments and how those responses continue to shape us today. Let's take a moment to address something important, the way we view African genetics. For far too long, there has been a tendency to oversimplify or misunderstand the genetic diversity of African populations. In popular culture and even in scientific circles, Africa has often been portrayed as a homogenous place with a single, uniform genetic makeup. But nothing could be further from the truth. Africa is an incredibly diverse continent, with over 1,500 distinct languages spoken and thousands of different ethnic groups. And this diversity is reflected in the genetics of its people. In fact, the genetic variation within Africa is greater than that found in all other continents combined. This means that African populations are far more genetically diverse than any other, making the continent a treasure trove for understanding human genetics. But despite this richness, stereotypes and misconceptions still persist. For example, many people mistakenly believe that all African populations share the same genetic traits or that African genetic diversity is relatively shallow. 
These ideas are not only scientifically inaccurate, they also ignore the deep history of human migration, adaptation, and survival that has unfolded in Africa for thousands of years. The truth is that Africa is home to a vast range of genetic profiles, each shaped by specific environmental, cultural, and historical factors. From the Nilotic peoples of East Africa to the Khoisan populations of Southern Africa, each group carries its own unique genetic signature. These differences are not something to be feared or misunderstood. They are a source of pride and fascination, offering us a window into the incredible complexity of human evolution. By studying African genetics in depth, we can begin to dismantle these misconceptions and appreciate the true diversity of the continent. Africa's genetic legacy is not a monolith, but a rich, complex tapestry woven over millennia. This understanding challenges stereotypes, promotes inclusivity, and helps us appreciate the shared humanity that connects us all. Let's now turn to one of the most exciting aspects of African genetics, its implications for medicine and science. As we've seen, Africa's genetic diversity holds invaluable insights into human evolution, but it also has profound implications for health and medicine. By studying the genetic makeup of African populations, scientists are uncovering groundbreaking information that could revolutionize the way we approach medical treatments, disease prevention, and public health. Take, for example, the prevalence of certain genetic conditions in African populations. Sickle cell anemia, malaria resistance, and even genetic traits related to immune responses are all more common in African populations. Understanding these genetic traits gives us the opportunity to develop more targeted treatments and therapies for diseases that disproportionately affect people of African descent. Moreover, studying African genetics can help address some of the most pressing health issues facing the world today. For example, researchers are looking into how African genetic diversity can inform cancer treatments. Certain genetic markers found in African populations could help doctors better understand how cancer develops and how patients will respond to treatment. This could lead to more personalized, effective therapies for people of all backgrounds. Beyond disease, African genetics are also helping to shape the future of personalized medicine. As we move toward more individualized healthcare, understanding the genetic makeup of different populations is crucial. Africa's genetic diversity provides a blueprint for creating treatments that are tailored to the unique needs of individuals, rather than relying on broad one-size-fits-all approaches. Finally, African genetics are shedding light on how we can better adapt to new challenges, like climate change and emerging diseases. As we face a future where environmental and health crises are a growing concern. The genetic resilience seen in African populations may offer valuable clues about how to survive and thrive in rapidly changing conditions. By studying Africa's genetic legacy, we are not just unraveling the mysteries of the past, we're unlocking the future of medicine and healthcare. Africa's genetic contributions are helping to shape a healthier, more resilient world for all of us. So, what have we learned today? Africa's genetic legacy is not just about understanding where we came from, it's about understanding who we are and how we're connected to one another. From the earliest human migrations to the complex genetic adaptations that allowed our ancestors to survive in diverse environments, Africa's genetic history is a rich and fascinating story. It's a story that speaks to our shared humanity, to our resilience, and to the ways we continue to evolve. As we've seen, Africa's role in the story of human genetics is far from over. The discoveries we've made in recent years are just the beginning. From health breakthroughs to new insights into human evolution, African genetics are shaping the future of science and medicine. And as we continue to explore and learn more, we'll uncover even more surprises, revelations, and connections that will help us better understand who we are and where we're headed. One thing is clear, Africa's genetic legacy is not just a part of our past, it's a fundamental part of our future. We are all connected by the shared history of this remarkable continent, and it's a story worth telling for generations to come.